Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And uh, I received some special packages in the mail today. One I'm going to talk about, the other one I'll, I'll save for a li another time. But anyway, this is one that I've been waiting for. I got a package in the mail, and I kind of cheated and opened it up ahead of time because uh, I couldn't wait. My camera person was out of town when I got the mail today, so I had to wait anyway. But I, I couldn't wait to open it, so I kind of opened it up ahead of time, and it came in a package like this. And it's from Colonel D. Okay, Colonel D. Colonel D is a business that does gourmet herbs and spices. They're out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, and a couple locations in northern Kentucky. I had stopped at the uh, location in Newport, Kentucky um, at one point and talked to Brad there, and they said they were in the process of making their top-level hot sauce. Okay, so that's what they sent me, and I really appreciate that. And uh, go to Colonel D, too. Um, they're free shipping to any place in the United States and maybe even outside the United States. I don't know. But free shipping, you can't beat that. Their prices are really reasonable. It's just ColonelD.com, and I'll put that probably below when um, I write my description on the video here. But um, they have blends and spices and sauces and pretty much natural things that are really good. Um, and even if you don't like, because they sent me... Um, a free mix too. So it says, um, thank you. Here's a sample of one of our spice and blends. So they sent me a non-spicy one too, which my camera person will appreciate, but a nice mixed blend. It's called Greek chicken with cucumber salad. Uh, and you can mix it up and use it with uh, different foods. And I think it has a recipe with it. Yeah, it does have a recipe on front too, so it gives a good recipe there too. That's not hot and spicy, so you could go to Colonel D for spicy blends and mixtures or just regular, some delicious spices and blends there too, natural spices and blends. So um, check out their website. Um, and thank you again for uh, making this up and sending it for free. They were just in the process, and here it is. And I'm going to try with my testing spoon in a moment. But this is their top-level hot sauce, which is made by Colonel D. It's a homemade one. It's called El Diablo. El Diablo. And it's got that red color. And then here's what it says on it, just a few reading. Carolina Reaper, Ghost Chili, Scorpion Chili. So those are three of the hottest peppers in the world. Um, and then for ingredients, it just says Carolina Reaper, Ghost Pepper, Scorpion, Vinegar, and Salt. So it's pretty much your standard peppers with that vinegar and salt mixture to uh, probably thin it down a little bit. It's from Colonel D, and then the message from Colonel D says... The Colonel Lee flavor advantage is the freshness of our herbs, spices, and custom blends and our knowledge. We offer highly quality ingredients and unusual combinations with a touch of whimsy and humor. So this is El Diablo brand new. They just mixed this one up. Brad over at Colonel D said uh, he tried just a little bit of drop on his tongue and he was burning. So <laughs> I definitely appreciate a good a good hot sauce. So I'm gonna open it up and try it out on my testing spoon. Might want to shake um, it. Yeah, I'm gonna put a whole spoonful as the test. Usually people just take a little drop of hot sauce, um, but that's what I do with all the hot sauces I do. And I either pay for it or feel the burn or whatever happens here. So, uh -huh. here it is. It's got a small little hole opening so you don't overdo it. But we're going to go big here. Go big or go home, I guess. You only live once? Hmm. It smells interesting, that combination of vinegar and peppers. All right, so. You're going to be able to get it out. I might have to take off the... Uh, Dropper seal here too, and maybe just reshake a bit. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. Because it's not meant to come out fast. Oh, oh you just got some on your arm. <laughs> well, it's on my shirt and a little bit on my shorts here too, but. <laughs> oh, everybody's clear. Don't worry, don't worry, everybody's. Okay, here we go. Maybe get Dad a washer so he doesn't burn his arm. 
It's not, I don't know if it's, it's not really on my arm, but I'm going to have to. You have a little on your arm. It's so thick. Here we go. We'll get it. We'll get it. Let's we'll have to get something to get it out with. Nice and thick sauce. Let's we'll have to get something to get that out with. Try it one more time. I got you got a little bit on my hand. Oh, what can you do? Alright, here we go. Oh, there it comes a little bit. That's so thick, I don't know if I'm going to do the whole spoonful. Get that a butter knife. No, I'm good. I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go with this because this is like quite a bit. Not a full spoon, but it's it's a lot. It's a little pile. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Hot sauce. Here we go. I always get a little nervous about these things because you never know. It's like pretty much just straight pepper mash sauce mash. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Colonel D. Thank you again, and here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Is that hot? Oh, yeah. It's hot. Yeah, it's probably pretty hot. It's pretty hot. Hello. Made a mistake. I can. I swallow. Sometimes I do this with sauce, I swallow too fast fill my throat but I don't really let it get up. You're doing more. Don't really let it get a good burn in my palate so if I can get a little bit more to come out I just want to get a little bit to settle in my mouth. <laughs> just to see here. Just a few drops or two or slops of it. Ah, of course it hits the table. Oh, well. Here, because I don't want to... Oh, here. Never mind. I got it. Okay, here we go. That's only one little drop. Yeah, I just want to get a little... Here, I'll take this other drop, too. Hopefully it won't burn myself. Yeah. Okay, so I got a yeah, couple drops on the spoon here. Your hands. <laughs> That's what I'm just going to let settle on my tongue. Yeah, you might have to wash your hands because you touched the hot You'll probably have to wash your hands after that because you touched the hot sauce. Can I just get all this stuff? A good mix of the pepper taste. Can I just get all of this packaging out of the way? Sure, a little man of fire. Kind of getting a little bit crazy here. but So it's... uh. I would say for an average person, yeah, it's it's uh, it's gonna be a ten here. Um, for chili head, um, like a three or four category. Um, and I'm pretty much at the top of the scale. I mean, if you want to burn, this would be a good thing to add to something. So, Colonel D did good good here. If you want a hot sauce, though, you kind of have to. Like the taste of peppers, because pretty much Reaper, Ghost Pepper, and your uh, Trinidad Scorpion peppers with um, vinegar and salt just to kind of make it into that sauce. But it's mostly those pepper mash. Um, so it's mostly if you just like get all those things together and like blend them up. Kind of, kind of, kind of that mash there. And then I'll have to try I've tried their blend sometime too. But again, thanks. Uh, thank you so much, Colonel D. Um, the business and Brad over there for um, getting this to me. And I definitely always want to thank people who send me a product for free, taste test for them, try. And then again, um, Colonel D, the business, ColonelD.com. You can't lose with free shipping. It's like you're theirs. Check out their website. 
Um, even if you don't like heat, they got a lot of good blends and stuff there too. And I, I'll definitely shop with them again too. So, um, oh, definitely, okay. yeah. Overall flavor? Overall flavor, it depends. If you like the um, hot chili, hot pepper flavor, you will like it. If those flavors get to you, then you may not like it. But um, it would be something you could add into things like a, uh, like a good chili or a few drops here and there on like a taco or something else just uh get the heat coming up too so um really my burns kind of coming down kind of stuck a little bit in my mouth and throw it the first batch I kind of swallowed a lot of it right away that's why I went back and did another couple drops just to like settle on my tongue a bit to get the true mouth experience of it too obviously I still have a little bit of burn takes like I said in my video yesterday about 10 to 20 minutes to come down but the main portion of the heat's already coming down I'm not really struggling or suffering too bad here but again good sauce El Diablo from Colonel D is what it is I don't know if you want to get this I don't know if they carry it on the website you may need to contact them because when I went on the website to check out some of their stuff a lot of their hot sauces and stuff they don't have on their website, but um, they do have a contact information. So if you're interested in this or some of the other hot sauces, because I've gotten a few other hot sauces here. And this one's brand play. new too. Yeah, this one is just brand new. When I was down there, they were just working on um, getting it together and putting it out. So they got it together and sent me a bottle. So maybe I'm one of the first people I ever try it too. So thanks again. And we will see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.